The season opener for the Kennedale Wildcats, who are hosting the 1-0 Terrell Tigers, who opened the year with a 26-0 win over Paris. It was a battle of state-ranked teams as Terrell quarterback Taye Sanders is hit and the ball comes loose. Devin Mason is Johnny on the spot to recover it and set up the Wildcats with great field position. The Tiger defense stood strong, though, and forced Kennedale to kick a 32-yard field goal. The snap and hold were perfect, and Kevin Tierro drilled the ball through the uprights as the Wildcats took a 3-0 lead. Kennedale head coach Richard Barrett was not pleased with some of the early mistakes as the Wildcats jumped offsides on this play, and Terrell running back Elijah McQueen took advantage of the overly aggressive Wildcat defense, racing 80 yards as the Tigers pounced on the opportunity. Touchdown, the extra point made it 7-3 Terrell. Kennedale answered as Caden Woodson picked up some good yardage up the middle to set up an eventual one-yard touchdown from Deshaun Kirvin to give the Wildcats a 9-7 lead with 8.47 remaining in the second quarter. Kennedale would keep the ball on the ground for the most part on their next drive. Deshaun Kirvin with the burst of speed following his blocks. That would set up a nice 24-yard run this time by David Roper, who got into some open space and showed you his talents. David's a good athlete, good runner, uh, just a really good football player. We haven't run much of that, but we thought like we could get the edge because of some of the other plays that we were running inside that would set that up, and it, and it did. Uh, David had a heck of a night, and uh, real happy for David. He's such a hard worker, but uh, you know he'd give a lot of credit to our offensive line as well. But David, David did a really, really good job for us. Jaden Knowles scored from 16 yards out, and the extra point would make it 16 to 7 Kennedale with 4.25 remaining until halftime. In fact, Kennedale was knocking on the door again just before the break, but this apparent touchdown run was called back due to a Wildcat penalty, and Kennedale would have to settle for a field goal and a 19 to 7 lead at intermission. Terrell would open the scoring in the second half as Kennedale was offsides and it's a free play for Tiger quarterback T.A. Zanders. Look at the cat go, scoring from 48 yards away. The extra point made it 19 to 14. We've got ourselves a ball game. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Eight minutes to play. Tigers backed up in their own end of the field, and the Kinderdale defense registers a safety to give the Wildcats a 21 to 14 lead. That was a difference maker as Jamar Daniels and Michael Landers sack Xanders for two points. If I come untouched, get the quarterback. That's all I know. That's all we teach. And if I get hit, drop back, try to get an interception, stop the pass, or destroy the route. But I didn't get touched, and it's just play the game right there. We just had to do it. The Tigers with one last chance. Xanders calls his own number, and watch number one go. 47 yards down the sideline. He's tossed out of bounds around the 15-yard line, so Terrell in good shape. The direct snap to Jermaine Gardner, who scored from three yards out, taking defenders into the end zone. That pulled Terrell within one point, 21 to 20. Now to the play of the game. Terrell head coach Mike Shields decided to go for two points instead of the extra point, and Terrell lined up with a swinging gate. Xanders liked his odds and yelled hike. He broke to the right, had a man open briefly, but decided to make the pitch to Kendrick Richardson, who tried to make a move, but one on three was too much to ask for, and he is denied by the Kennedale defense. Let's break down this play further. Xanders is forced to pitch quicker than he wants. By the time Richardson gets the football, he has a quick choice to make. Either fake a throw to fool the pursuing defense and keep the defensive back on the receiver, or simply tuck it and run. Kendrick chose to keep the ball, but wait a minute, freeze it. The defensive back commits early to the run, leaving the receiver open. But Richardson is already too far into the play and is swallowed up. The ball comes loose despite the football winding up in his receiver's hands. The play is blown dead since you can't advance a fumble and Kennedale's defense prevails. We say this now, go hard or go home. It's time to suck it up, let's go. That's a wrap. Kennedale holds off Terrell 21 to 20. You like the win, but uh, boy, it was not pretty. In Kennedale, Jeff Power, LoneStarGridiron.com. LoneStarGridiron.com. Access the complete history of Texas high school football, over 100 years of information, win-loss records, coaching histories, individual stats, records, and more. Lone Star Gridiron, the authority on Texas high school football.